many of you may have grown up like I did. I grew up taking the eight years, 12 years of piano, kicking and screaming, reading music, my teacher putting music in front of me, telling me to play what was on the sheet. She would get mad when she would play it to me to show me what it was like, and I would play it back to her without looking at the music, playing it by ear, hearing what I was playing. I spent eight years under her teaching, hating reading music, seeing no value in it. Um, I was wrong, of course and ended up quitting because she kind of demonized or made bad playing by ear. About 10 years later, I went into college and I had someone take note of my ear in a jazz ensemble and actually teach me what I was doing theory-wise, putting a language to what my ear could do and actually turned to positive what I always believed was a negative. Now since then, in my own teaching of 20 years on piano, I teach both sight reading, reading from music, and by ear. I wish I would never have quit reading by sight because I thought it was bad and I couldn't do it and I thought it was the only way and I thought I wish I had not turned to my ear later in life. Maybe you've never developed your ear, maybe you've told that it was a bad thing, maybe you've developed your ear to hear music but you really don't know how to put those ideas into words on a keyboard. I want to help you do this. This is the problem we're trying to solve and where this is going to be unique is that it's going to start from the very foundation. We're going to look at how theory works underneath a scale and putting chords over those scales in order to make accompaniments and then giving you slow ways to produce interdependence and uh, the ability to execute the melodies and freedom of arrangement that you want. By the end of this course, you will have mastered many of the scales in your circle of fists, as we'll start with the side of sharps in our circle of fists, and I'll explain what all that is. You will also have mastered how to put one scale and two octaves together, and slowly connected root position, first inversion, second inversion, and a mixed sense of voicings into chords. You will also start to introduce your thumb, middle, pinky as freely um, into the right hand to incorporate melody and then your thumb middle pinky into the bass as to freely incorporate bass rhythms and this will begin a foundation that will be set across all keys to where you will be playing by ear before you even know it so come along join with me love to be of help along the way and we'll dive right in mm -hmm.